there's a, a fund that's been in existence for many years now, the Abandoned Mine Lands Fund, uh, where operators of coal mines would pay into that fund a certain amount of money per ton of coal that they mine. However, that money is just laying there. It's like four billion dollars. I had the idea, and we put it into a bill called Reclaim, to bring more of that money out of the Abandoned Mine Lands Fund for projects not just to reclaim land, but to reclaim land for commercial uh, use. I just earmarked in the funding bill for the federal government uh, for 016 some $25 million out of the general treasury as a pilot project to demonstrate this idea of uh, reclaiming land for the purpose of, uh, of creating jobs. Just during our administration, we have utilized $30 million and we've been using it in a very focused, laser-like, very intentional way, as opposed to spreading it out a mile wide and an inch thick, we're being very focused. The very first project that comes to mind is in Bell County. It's the Elk Wildlife Viewing Center. This is an unbelievable project, 12,000 acres of reclaimed mine land. The second program that comes to mind is the ECOMI program. This is a program where we're retraining thousands of laid off mine workers and folks out of jobs that aren't there now, but the skills are still there. The third project that comes to mind is the Kentucky Enterprises Industrial Park in Pikeville. This was money that was used to build spec manufacturing sites, and the very first tenant has already signed up, Silverliner, but they are building custom tanker trucks that are manufactured for use on multiple fronts all over the world. The fourth and final pilot grant project that comes immediately to mind is the East Park Infrastructure and Development Project in Greenup County. And this is a $4 million AML investment into the 1,000 acre business park. Benefits a number of counties, Boyd, Carter, Elliott, Greenup, Lawrence. North to south, we have incredible opportunities before us. What we've tried to do with this program is make investments rather than spending. So we're focused on trying to create jobs, create sustainable enterprises that when, if we look at this 10 or 20 years down the road, we can be proud of what we did, that the money was well spent and that there was a, a, a proven benefit for the economy of the area. As I say, uh, over these last three years, 16, 17, and 18, we were able to bring home $80 million to Kentucky to use for these projects, things like this. But the, the, it, it has the effect of causing localities to be thinking about what can we do to improve the economy in our community, our county. Uh, and there's money available now through these pilot projects to let them experiment, if you will, and develop their ideas uh, to create better jobs and a better way of life in, in East Kentucky. I'm grateful to Congressman Rogers, to the AML program itself, and I would have the people of Kentucky know we are being good stewards of these monies, and we are making sure that they are being spent where we will get a great return on our investment. We are Kentucky.